Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome to episode 37. This is the peer to peer network coding session series. And today we're going to be designing the messages and maybe implementing one of them in order for allowing the desktop app to create a user profile and to uh, list from a user profile which or retrieve from a user profile which are all the, the social personas or social entities in general that this profile has and also uh, we are going to allow the social profile to add a, a a social entity, either a social persona or a bot. So uh, this is what we're going to work on today. So let's turn to the code view. Um, we already have this module where we are dealing with the different request types, okay? So for the case of queries, we have here event on profile is the third different type of message types or request types that we might have, okay? So today uh, in profile, we are dealing with two different type of messages um, let me see these are the different cases we have load social entities at storage and load social entity from storage okay mm. so what this does is information regarding whatever is information bio picture profile picture banner whatever is to be saved at the level of a social entity, we have implemented this stuff. What we don't have is what is needed in order to have um, in order to have um, to create a user profile. Okay, because if somebody is going to sign up. They will need a user profile. Also, they will need um, they will need given a user profile given a user profile they will need To know which are the social entities tied to that profile okay so we'll get we'll have a query for that or not a, it's not a query it's a request type okay so let's start so i'm going to use this as a template Also, I will need where this stuff is defined. Okay, I don't need this to be
So we will have one guy that is going to be create user user profile. Okay. Then create social persona um since at the user profile the only thing we have is the the profile handle the the persona handle let's check that out <clears throat> uh, now I'm thinking how it's going to work are we going to allow to create and delete social personas or there will be a maximum amount of social personas to be used how is that going to play out here? <clears throat> Can you delete the social persona? Maybe not. Can you change the handle? Maybe not. So probably what we will do is just to allow the creation of the social persona and social trading bot. And once you create one, probably we don't need to delete anymore. Another thing that might need is a way to create not this but the storage containers I mean we can create this by default one storage container and make all the arrangements and if somebody wants to do um, <clears throat> a more complex configuration he should load the platform and get his profile and do whatever they want okay so I would say that maybe Another possibility is to have only also one social persona. So maybe I create a profile with one social persona. Oh, I will allow the creation of social personas from the app because they also need to create bots. So that means that it's a similar handling of stuff. What I will do is to autonomously set up a container and 
create um, also create a github repository <coughs> and everything set up so the only thing I will need is the github username and token but also I will need I will need a place where to store which is the github username and token so yeah I need to create the API's file for that but also I will need at the secrets location I will need a file with user profile secret okay so I will need create user profile create social persona create social trading bot social trading bot okay Then I will need a way for the mobile or the desktop app to load to load the user profile. But it's not any user profile. It's the this loads the user profile that is So the process, how I imagine the process is a sign up where we ask the GitHub username and a token, okay? So for using the application, you will have to go to GitHub, create a username and get a token. With that, you sign up, okay? In the sign up, we are going to create a profile. So create a profile use it at sign up process this creates the first user uh, the first social persona and also its storage okay and leaves everything perfectly working then we will have to this this is to create additional social persona this is to create first or additional social trading bots this is to go the user profile
hold on, load the user profile. This is to load. This is to retrieve. The user profile ID that has been using the app. Okay, why? Because you will need this ID. Social personas these social personas this is to retrieve a list of social personas by user file ID okay and similar to this we will need a list of social trading bots this is to list to retrieve a list of social Trading bots by user profile ID. Okay, cool. Then we can save a social entity or load a social entity. So let me see if we have enough. I'm, I, I'm assuming here that we are not going to be in or to enable the possibility to log in with a different user profile, but maybe we should, okay? So if, 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 if we do, we need two more methods here. Login user profile. And log out user profile. This is to remember which user profile is currently being uh, or considered logged in. Okay. And this is to forget which user profile is currently logged in, okay? So in order to to log in a user profile, you need to provide you need to provide user profile 
user profile ID user profile um, or GitHub username user profile handle I'm not going to talk about GitHub for now even though we are going to create this GitHub stuff and storage provider and storage token okay so with this information sorry to create a user profile we will need for this to create a user profile you need to provide not the id because it's going to be generated the user provide profile handle the storage provider that is going to be github and the storage token okay and the storage token so then There's another possibility that somebody already has a user profile and just want to add a new user profile from the use his user profiles. Maybe you want to use two user profiles or I'm overcomplicating this stuff. Yeah. Use at use at sign of process, and the user does not have a superagus. User profile. This create the first social persona and also is storage. You need to provide user profile handle, storage provider, uh, storage token. Okay. Then, if you already have a super algos, if you already have a super algos profile you're going to add and the user profile So this is more or less the same than this. It's also used as sign up process. When the user already have 
es super algo si user profile this creates the first social persona um, if if it doesn't have one not ready it creates the first social persona and also a storage in this case you need to provide the user profile ID because it already exists storage provider and token token okay Remove user profile. Is use it. Used to forget which users, which user profiles are available. to be used by the app you need to provide the user profile ID and this will forget the we can also list user profiles this is used to list all the user profiles that the app manages hold on there will be a problem here if I make it multi-user profile because our definitions are by profile so here you declare the app so I believe I'm going too far with this. I'm going too far. So probably what we need is a create user profile only sign a profit that creates your social persona and also a storage and everything you need so you don't need to come here through the platform to do all this stuff it's going to create the user app the desktop app blah 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 it's going to sign and but
so that means that that installation at least is for one user profile and that's it You need to provide user, user profile ID if it already exists. Otherwise, a user profile handle, storage provider, and storage token. And there it ends. So I remove all this complexity. Create a user profile. And then create a social persona. Create a trading bot. Once you create a social persona or a trading bot, you're going to uncreate it or delete it because one star operating over there or maybe you can To be consistent with this, I would put create social entity. And I don't know if I would create the first social persona. This is to create social entities. When you create the social entity, this is create the social entity and also To create a social entity and also its storage. Okay, it doesn't matter if it is a persona, we use the same stuff. Delete social entity. This is to delete the social entity from the user profile. Probably it's not going to delete it from anywhere else because the social entity already have posted and should remain somewhere over there. So we have create user profile, create social entity, delete social entity. Okay, so we 
Once we create a user profile, we don't need the web app to load anything else because it's going to be only one social profile. So we need to remember that as a service provider and from there on it will always be the same okay so the load user profile is not something that the web app actually needs if it needs the social personas this is where you see the social personas belonging to the user profile created or created at sign up okay so we are simplifying a little bit In fact, we can list social entities directly. And we give the full list. And finally, we will save the social entity. information bio profile picture banner and others in use using open storage okay the social this information from open storage okay so in the end we reduce everything to this So we will need to create a user profile, create a social entity and delete a social entity. List social entities. And pretty much that's it. So I already have implemented these two. I will need to implement create user profile, create social entity, create delete this. So essentially here.
So create user profile, create social entity, delete social entity, and list social entities. Okay. Okay, so these are the functions. Um at one point, I will have to uh, create different modules for handling queries, post, and uh, queries and events, probably, or maybe not, I don't know. But this is going big. Still, it doesn't bother me, but maybe later it will okay so this is this was the analysis for this here we have the notes use a design up process when the user does not have a super profile in fact it doesn't matter if it has To create a new super algos user profile or to use existing one, you need to provide the user profile ID if it already exists, if the user profile already exists user profile handle storage provider and storage token then we will have create social entity this is to create a social entity and its storage Okay, and to remember that social entity in a list of entities that we will have for this profile. I can delete a social entity and list the social entities. So, okay, so I think this is going to be a little bit 
difficult to pull out because I will have to make calls to GitHub and things like this. Well, in this in these two, if I create or delete, I will have to uh, pull request. I will have to create a pull request at the super algos. So in this one, I will have to create a fork and also all the other stuff. So there is a lot of work to do this and to do these guys too. Probably these two goes together or maybe these three goes together. Maybe with luck in one session. And these two we have it. Okay. Okay, so I make sure that this is still running. There's the network. Okay. Then the desktop. Okay, everything is running, so what I'm going to do, go to my workspaces, one that I call app contribute, and I'm going to contribute. Sorry, this should be an app contribute. Okay, and um, that's it. So at the next episode, I will actually work on this um, and get everything ready so that the web app can, can use these features right away, okay? Thank you for watching and see you the next time.